Hello, this is Dr. Jenkins, just here to give you a little brief video introduction to our first online lab. All right, so on Blackboard, you're gonna see lab number one. It's titled Objectives, but this is your step-by-step -step guide for how to go through lab number one, which is on basically the rat dissection and then some anatomical terms, okay? So you'll see a list of objectives, that's great. And then part one here is a review of anatomical terminology. And that includes planes of the body, directional terms, body cavities. This is already stuff that you've had in lecture, okay? So I don't need to go through it one by one, but because this anatomical language is so important, this is why we do it in lab also, all right? So these terms, this terminology needs to become part of your regular language. I've included some links here. So for example, at the bottom, you can see this one website link and these all come from Lumen Learning. It's a free website. They're actually really good. So if you wanna have a good resource to review these, these websites are great, okay? So make sure you review the planes of the body. Make sure you review these directional terms. Now, you can see that I've crossed off some of these and that's because you don't need to know them for this lab. Everything that's not crossed off though, you do have to know, all right? You're gonna to wanna to make sure you review the body cavities and at the very bottom here, it starts with the regional terms, anterior and posterior. For this lab, you do not need to know these. I include them because I think it's important to recognize that a lot of the regions of the body have names, but I don't think it's really useful of your time right now to sit here and memorize all these. So you don't need to know them for this lab or for the upcoming lab quiz next week, um, but just a listing. And as we go through this semester, and then as we go through a and 2 we will be introduced to all these, okay? But for now, you do not need to know them. Another part of our terminology discussion would be the abdominal quadrants. So make sure you know these. There is another way to break up the abdomen into the nine regions, but you don't need to know those. So make sure you know the four abdominal quadrants and then what organs are housed in each of those. This is probably gonna be something new to you, these movement terms. This is something that we're gonna come across, come across, excuse me, later in our muscular system, part of the course. But I'm an experienced educator. I'm a human me who took many classes myself I know that the more we go over something, the better. So make sure you review only these three pairs of movement terms. We're gonna learn it now, and then we're gonna learn it again, same thing when we get to the muscular system, and it should make your life easier once we get to the muscular system. The last thing to do is to watch the video for the rat dissection. It is unfortunate that we're not gonna be in person to cut open the rat ourselves, but you need to watch this video and you need to know where this entire listing of organs are on the rat and the human. And that's why we do the rat because the organization of the rat is very similar to the human. So you'll be able to see the thoracic cavity, the abdominal pelvic cavity, the placement in terms of organs of the four quadrants in the abdomen, in the rat are the same as the human. You'll get a good chance to see the diaphragm separating the thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavities. It is all good, my friends. I do wanna point out two definitions that you may not have been familiar with up to this point. One of them, let me change that. One of them is the cecum. The cecum is the enlarged beginning region of the large intestine, 
and I'm just gonna shorthand for large intestine. So when we open up the rat and we first see the lower abdominal quadrants, it's of course all intestines. Well, there's a very enlarged piece um, after the small intestine, and that is called the cecum. It is the beginning region of the large intestine. The other term that might be new to you would be the mesentery. The mesentery is the clear connective tissue sheath. Let's see if I can fit this in here. And this clear connective tissue sheath connects the intestines to the body. We have so many feet of intestines, they could certainly easily get tangled. So that mesentery is there for one reason, to prevent the intestines from tangling. Uh, if we were to pull out on the intestines, which is what I do in the lab in person, is I, I take the intestines with my gloved hands and I pull them up, well, the intestines are connected to the body with this clear sheath. It prevents them from tangling. And the other purpose of the mesentery is in that clear connective tissue sheath, we have blood vessels. And of course, nerves, veins, and lymphatics. But it's a route for us to have blood vessels into and out of the intestines. So you need to know all these, but those are the two that might be new to you. And when we get down to the reproductive organs, you're gonna see both male organs, such as the vas deferens, and you're also gonna see female organs. So make sure you review the placement of these uh, reproductive organs in both males and females on the rat and the human, okay? You're gonna see some practice pictures of these organ placements on Blackboard. The last thing you'll review are the organ systems. There are 11 that we have. Make sure you review the basic function of each. So be able to list and then give a function of each. All right, brief little intro. This is really meant to help you know exactly what you need to know and what you may not need to know. Remember to cross some things out. Otherwise, good luck with the lab. If you have questions, please, please reach out. All right, good luck, folks.